pleased to be joined by head coach of the South Plains College Track and Field Program, Mr. Eric Vance, assistant coach Justin Hobbs. Um, here we are, coach. You know, we've, we've uh, you prepared for this all year. Um, it's time for the big one. You're going to head down to Lubbock Friday and Saturday to compete for another uh, another national title and a chance to add to the to the banners out front. Um, kind of talk about some of the, the preparations and how you're feeling going in. Well, essentially the preparation's uh, done. You know, we still work on logistics stuff, but as far as our training is going, uh, you know, I, Coach Hart, my coach from college, who's uh, a legend in the sport, used to like to say the hay's in the barn. Uh, we've done all we can do. Uh, there's there's nothing we can we can add to with training. Maybe we could uh, sharpen some things up just a little bit. But at the end of the day, um, it was their work over the break and their work throughout this indoor season that, that has set them up to be where they are. So, uh, you know, I think our, our athletes are ready. Um, they showed that the last time out. And as we've gone through the last week and a half, they've, uh, they've looked really good. Uh, they're mentally ready to compete. Uh, physically, they're ready to compete. So really, there's not a whole lot left to do other than, you know, get on the bus and, and go try to do the job when we get over to Yeah. What are some of the mental uh, preparations that will go into these next couple of days, that fine-tuning like you talked about? And, you know, you have a core group who's been here and done that. Um, how big a, a factor does that play? Well, having, having athletes that have been in a, in a championship environment and that high-pressure environment is always, is always helpful. You know, it, they, they know, they know how, kind of how things are going to go. But we still try to remind them. We still talk about, you know, being aware of what you need to do when you step on the track. Uh, we had a team meeting yesterday, and, and what we really talked about more than anything was the fact that you can't score if you don't make the final. Um, so, so it's about execution on day one, it, and uh, so we just try to kind of remind them: here's what you have to do to make the final. Here's here's kind of the you know advancement formula, and more than anything, yet you have to execute day one. Um, you can't you can't win a championship on the first day, but you can definitely lose it. Um, so, so our goal is really to just go out and, and execute, and just make the athletes aware of what they need to do and, and try to put them in the position where they uh, need to be in order to uh, succeed. Yes, sir. Coach Hobbs, obviously the, the objective up to this point is to get as many into this meet as possible uh, to earn those points and have a chance on the final day. Talk about some of the numbers, how you feel uh, going in and um, how, how big of a factor that could play. Sure. Um, you know, you have to have the bullets to, to hit and to score in order to put yourself in that position, like Coach Vance was saying, to win that championship. And I think we've really done that, done a good job of putting the people in place to where um, they're going to be able to score in the events that, that they're entered and, of course, the relays as well. And so, um, you know, we tried to, to qualify as many athletes as many events as possible to give us those options, which I think we did a good job of doing that. The guys did a great job of stepping up and qualifying when they needed to, and we've put ourselves in that position. So now that we've the, the entries are in and um, everything's set. Now we just got to go in there and execute. Our guys, you know, the, the past year have done a, a great job. The returners did a great job of that last year. The guys we, we've had come in that are freshmen are really big gamers and have, have shown that to us already in the, in the previous two or three, four meets that we've ran indoor. And so I think we're pretty confident that we'll be able to go in there and execute. Yeah. Obviously, when you get into a meet like this, the pressure rises a little bit. The, the stakes are a little bit higher. Um, what, what will be your job and Coach Vance, what will you all be trying to do to keep these guys down, down to earth, focused on the objective, and you know, not overdoing it? Um, the team is, is pretty, pretty confident that uh, everybody's on the same page. We know what the goal is, and pretty much we're just going to go in there and, and do what we do every single day and just – execute the way we know how to execute and if they do that they're going to be fine everybody's pretty excited the mood at practice is, is still pretty pretty playful everybody's still pretty relaxed but i think come game day i think everybody's going to focus up and not get overstimulated but they're going to know hey this is this is what we've trained for all year and they get excited for that opportunity to prove themselves i think yeah. coach vance on both sides of men's and women's can you kind of talk about some of the the, the strengths where a certain event that you have to have and maybe one or two that you can go in there and steal and you know get some points at the, on the back end. Well, on the on the women's side, you know we're definitely not as big of team, so so that's a, a situation where where we have to you know we have to be be really good at our at our spots where we're good at. Um, you know the women's four hundred is going to be a big event for us. Uh, we'll have 
three in there, and I, I think we can put three in the final. They're all ranked the top 15, including Tasha at number one. So, uh, you know, I'd like to see we put three in that final. If we do that, that's that's big points. You know, anytime you get three in the final, you never know, especially indoor 400, you never know what's going to happen. So that's that's an event where we really, you know, anticipate to get some good points. I don't have any doubt that we will, but, but it's an important one. Um, our women's distance squad is going to be very important. Um, CC and Leslie, um, we've we've kind of gone with the individual uh, side of events for them, and uh, they we need them to to go run well. Like we need them to uh, go put up some big points for us. We're asking them to kind of do a pretty big workload for us. I think they're capable of it, but but that's an area we have to score some points. And th those girls have shown at previous national championships that they're capable of when they toe the line, really getting it done. Um, obviously, Jelena, you know, we anticipate she's going to jump really well. She's the, the national record holder in the high jump now, set an NJCA record in her first meet out, uh, ranked number one. You know, we need her to go win the high jump, and I, I think she'll do that, but we'll, we'll see what she can do when, when we get out there. But where we need to hit big and where we, we have really solid points. And then uh, on the guy's side, uh, you know, we're pretty balanced across all areas. We, we have somebody in every event from, from six or the 60 meters all the way up to the 5K. Um, we've got all our relays out there. Um, I think those 60 guys, you know, they're not ranked where they should go to the final, but I think they could, you know, put a race together and sneak in where they maybe make that final. Um, we need to do well in the jumps. We need to do well in, uh, with our throw, thrower. And, you know, we run good relays, but the end of the day, I think on the guys' side, we've got a bunch of guys that can go out and score. We just need to execute when we get out there on Friday. Yeah, Coach Hobbs, any final thoughts on this one? Obviously, you know it, it, it'll be uh, you'll, you'll play a key role in kind of keep keeping these guys mentally focused. Any final thoughts on this one? We're just gonna go out there and and uh, just take it one race at a time. And we know that you know pretty much the, the good thing about track is it's. It's just about executing your race. You know, depending on what everybody else does, um, can kind of play into you know placing in the finals. But it doesn't matter. It's all on you. So that's what we just keep um, harping on these guys. Let's just ex execute our race and let's go out there and race. And we tell them time doesn't matter as much as place. And um, I think they all get it. And they all get that you just got to go out there. And it's not about you know dying or, or pring or having a personal best. It's about place, and we just keep uh, keep echoing that to each other, and and they get it. And I think we're just going to go out there and just try to put put the races together that we need to to uh, be in the finals. I think we do that. I think we'll be all right. Yes, sir. Coach Vance, any final thoughts? No, we're we're just ready to go. We've got our uh, our athletes are ready to compete. You can see it. Um, I think everybody's excited about it. We're we're excited about essentially having a home championship. It'll be uh, it's been two years. The last one we had was outdoor here, um, so we're excited about about getting to compete in front of our home crowd. We have a great support uh, throughout the year. Um, when we've had our two meets at Texas, had a bunch of fans come out, and uh, just want to see the same the next next uh, two days this weekend. Uh, might as well. We're we're right 30 miles from home. We might as well have a home track advantage, even if it's not on our campus. Yeah. Um, we put a we put a home track advantage out there that could give both teams a great shot to go out and uh, hopefully come home with some hardware. Yeah, absolutely, coaches. Uh, thanks for joining us uh, this season. Uh, best of luck on Friday and Saturday, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Good. Thank, Thank you. you.